Hey guys, it's Nancy Schaefer, Missing Persons Recovery Specialist. I just got word, big, big, big breaking, the murder of Aton Pates was convicted. Woo. Um, I don't know about everyone else, but Aton Pates disappearance rocked New York City in the early 70s. I am I am completely overwhelmed and relieved at the same time. Aton Pate's murderer Pedro Hernandez was found guilty by a jury. Please say hallelujah if, if, if you agree. Um, I don't know if everyone followed this case. We followed it quite diligently. Aton Pates' case, it, to be honest with you, if you look at his pictures, beautiful, beautiful little boy. Now, Aton's body was never recovered. And if, I don't know if everyone had followed this particular case, but I don't think there's probably a person that I don't know that hasn't followed this case. Um, I believe Aton Pates' uh, pictures was the first uh, picture to be put on milk cartons back in the 70s. They I am so happy for this uh, family, but this is what I want. I don't know about you guys, but this is what I want to see happen. I think this guy should get the death penalty. I think they should make a deal with this guy that it's either the death penalty or to reveal where Aton Pates is. Regarding, regardless, he's going to spend the rest of his life in prison. Now, I don't know if you remember this guy that was just convicted. Um, he was a bodega walk a worker. That I don't know if you remember years ago. Um, it, just in case anyone doesn't know, Aton Pates uh, was six years old when he disappeared um, in New York City. If I remember correctly, it, he was the first person ever to be put on milk cartons in New York City. Now, Hernandez is now 55 years old. This murder happened in the 1970s. Um... And I believe that he worked in the Bogotega at the time that he would have, um, Aton would have walked past. This has been a long struggle for their family. Um, it, they say, hey, well, they convicted someone. You can have peace. You can move on. No, they're not. They're not because Aton Pates has not been recovered. I think this guy should get the death penalty or tell their family where their little boy is so that way they can give him a proper burial. But knowing the sick psyche of this guy and me profiling this case in this guy, um, he's either gonna do one, one of two things. Uh, if you remember, this guy came on radar, this Pedro Hernandez, by confessing in the beginning uh, just a couple years ago it rocked and then it was thrown out um, you know we all know that people who kill people are sometimes they don't even do the murders they're serial confessors um, so I believe that this was looked at but I believe that even his mental status was a question as Pedro Hernandez at some point but finally, the jury 
I had just come back with a guilty plea after all this time. Um, just so they know, there's no stat statute of limitations on murder. Um, I think that this guy should tell this family where this little boy is so that way they can have the closure. Because even though they have the person that's responsible behind bars doesn't mean that they have closure. Um, how many guys? How many of you guys think that that this guy should get the death penalty, um, or speak up and let the family um, give this l beautiful little boy a proper burial? This little boy was murdered in the 1970s. The murder, uh, the murder, the person who was just convicted of the murder, um, Pedro Hernandez. Uh, is uh, certainly a weird character. Who thinks that he should um, get the death penalty or, or give up where this little boy's remains are? Here, I see people watching but no one's saying anything. I don't know how many, I wanna see how many people agree with me. Yes, I'm talking about Aton Pates. I'm sorry, he disappeared in 1979. It's okay, Michelle. Aton Pates was a six-year-old six boy that went missing in 1979 in New York City. Um, it's probably one of the oldest, um, very famous missing persons cases. We have him on our website. Yeah, well, he was six years old. He's not really a baby, but, um, well, being a mother, it's always their little baby. I think they should give him the option. He's going to do one of the two things with this guy. He's either going to come clean and do the right thing. Because obviously he has some form of subconscious at the point, you know, in, in his 50s. But then I don't know if you guys remembered when he first came forward and said that he murdered this little boy, um, then retracted. I believe that there were, you know, based on some of the reports that I had followed um, and the case that they had believed that this little boy probably ended up in a landfill. Uh, and I don't know if you guys know anything about New York City. Um, but I know his family has never stopped looking for him ever. Let me just show you real quick. what this beautiful little boy looked like. Let's say, let's watch the photo gallery. I know we have him all over our, all over his, uh, all over our personal website as well, hoping for an anonymous tip. Who remembers this case? Oh, I know, Tammy. Yeah, that is that is what they suspected. Uh, law enforcement suspected that he probably ended up in a landfill. Of course, gotta have advertisements. 
Look at how beautiful that little boy is. <sighs> My heart breaks for this family. Now I believe it, the bodega was not far off from, I don't know who these. Okay, now I don't know if you remember this, a uh, year back or so, they had um, searched a building, the FBI, in connection with disappearance, but nothing was recovered. All right. I just wanted to share this news with you guys, and I wanted to get other people's views regarding... Um, Aton's uh, conviction. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you again.